What's from the most high, most high, we go there by. Hey there, family. This is the Most High's House of Prayer, Praise, and Peace. Back again with more words from the Most High. That we may grow thereby. Hallelujah, family. Hallelujah. Todah Yah. We are back again, just giving the most high to praise because he is certainly worthy to be praised. Yes, he is always. Uh, this is part two, family. We need <laughs> to watch the things <laughs> we say. say. Yes. Part two. Hallelujah. It is so very important, family. You know, I just, you know, we, we think about the things that we do and we say just on a daily, day to day basis. And we got to speak the right words, you know, speak life, speak life. That's what I'm saying. You know, life is in the power of the tongue, life and death. And in in all of that, we have to be careful to make sure we speak and say the right things that we speak yeah. positive. We speak this and speak that not necessarily, you know, going through the, the stages of the like the Dale Carnegie's and the, the, the Les Browns and the motivational things, you know, like saying if it's going to be is up to. You know, whatever I, you know, I don't subscribe to that mm -hmm. by the grace of the most high, because I know it's all up to the most high. He's the one that's in control of everything. But when we keep speaking positive, we yes. speak the right thing and all the positive that we have is in the word. Hallelujah. That's what we get in that right stuff to say from you able to speak that shown of life. You know, that family, we're just so grateful again for this lesson, you know, just to talk to your family and to encourage you even more just to keep on, you know, speaking and saying the right things. And we want to say that and it's, it's going to go on forever. We always got to be careful what comes out of our mouth. Yeah. You know, I remember growing up. You know, just, a, you know, a couple of years ago, you know, when I was like, you know, 15, hallelujah, come on, family, watch out now, yeah. you know, um, <laughs> young man, <laughs> <laughs> hallelujah, you know, we were, uh, you know, we would um, put sticks on each other's shoulders. And if a person wanted to scrap, you know, he would knock that stick off. Come, watch out, family, watch mm -hmm. out, family. We can kind of he went back somewhere with that. You know, when I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child child come on with that family but you know you did some of those those crazy and silly things if you will but you know speaking of sticks you know this is just my opinion you know these aren't views necessarily reflected of the channel that you're listening to <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> but nevertheless hallelujah uh, these are the views these are my opinion this is my opinion one of the biggest lies you know i remember you know even saying it myself you know just back in the day what people would say, I didn't make this up now, you know, they would say sticks and stones may break my bones, but mm -hmm. words will never, never hurt me. me. Oh, mm -hmm. family. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, family, 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 family. No, no. Words hurt a whole, whole lot. lot. Yes, they do. I mean, words can hurt. So that that's why I say that, that that's, that's kind of a lie. I, I, again, I understand where it comes from. You were just trying to get your foothold and you was trying to win yeah. the argument. And, you know, they words didn't hurt you. And they hurt just as bad as the sticks and the stones, <laughs> oh, to be yeah. honest. <laughs> yes, they did, Mom. Yes, they did. You know, you, you want to, you know, is rubber and is glue going to bounce off of me and stick to you? Come on, watch <laughs> out. Come on, family. <laughs> come on, just go. Again, the, the words that we say, the words that come out of our mouths, mm -hmm. when you look back at some of the things, some things just sound just downright crazy or silly or stupid. And some things just make sense, you know, you know, but you got to really, really think about this. You know, people are very crafty with them, you know, with the words that they use, you know, they know just what to say, you know, just to put you over, you know, and people, people got them words to say, they know, they know where they can get you and they got you just kind of sliced up there, you know, hallelujah. You know, it, it's, it's not only, you know, what we say, come on family, what you know what I'm, we do. is what we do sometimes that's, you know, it, it, and it's how we say it. That's what it yes. kind of boils down to. Mm -hmm. You know, we we talk a whole lot. Just ponder on on this. Ponder on how we even approach the most high. Now, remember, he knows the very intent of our hearts. Mm -hmm. There it is. Yeah. We ha you know, how have we approached him? And are we saying you know, this ain't fair or are we saying what about me? 
you know, think about that when we do it, when we approach the most high, you know, don't let us get us. Don't let we don't take us wrong in this sense. You know, questions are going to have your questions are going to come and the girls questions have their places, you know, you know, but is how are we asking the most high? when we're saying these questions are we approaching you know are we watching our verbal approach <laughs> remember it's down inside of our heart so he already know what we're saying before we say it he already knows our intent he knows exactly what we mean when we say it you know it's like when you know when you get upset and you know we say things and in, in a certain way to get a response from the person that we are upset with you know, you know how to get that person mad. You know exactly what to say. You know the words to say and you know how to craft them and put them just right. You know, have we at any time caught ourselves being upset with the most high? Watch out for that family. Watch out for that. You better check yourself. Hallelujah. You know, or you, you think about what Jeremiah, you know, he was saying, you know, he was he was just messed up daily. You know, he was messed up daily in derision. And, you know, the, the folk was mocking him. And, you know, and the reason they was doing it because he was bringing the word. Hallelujah. He was bringing the word, you know. Um, then, you know, then he said, what did he say? He said. I ain't going to think about this. Think about this family. What Jeremiah, when he brought it forth, he said, I'm not going to mention the most high no more. <laughs> I know we talked about Jeremiah in the other lesson, but we're going to talk about him one more good getting time. But what did he say right here? He said, I ain't going to speak no more in his name. I ain't going to say nothing. But y'all know how it goes, family. You know what he said. He came back and said, but his word, hallelujah, it was in his heart. It was like it was. It was shut up. It was like a burning fire in his bones. Watch out now. Now he called himself. He ain't going to say nothing no more. He just going to go ahead and do his thing and just say, okay, all right. I ain't saying nothing. You're not going to get me inside of that. But he said he was weary, you know, with forbearing and he couldn't stay. So in other words, he had to say exactly what the most High told him to do because it was shut up in his very bones. That's what that word is. And that's what we need to allow the word to be inside of us so when we're saying it and when we're talking about it that is just burning on the inside so that means as it's burning on the inside we had to put it on the inside or we had to allow the most high to dig it and to bury it on the inside so we can bring it right on back up family but nevertheless family we're gonna get started with this lesson we're gonna get going and give you what the most high has given to us go ahead yafa hallelujah and yahoo i said let there be light. <laughs> Come on, family. You know, you can't just stop right there. You know that 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 in of itself. Look mm -hmm. at look at family. Look, look at creation family. The most high spoke it and then he declared it was a good thing. Yeah. You know, he said, let there be the firmament. Then he said, let the waters. Then he said, let the earth bring forth by his word <laughs> the most high the heavens you know he formed the heavens they was made and all the host that is in heaven the most high made you know by his breath by the breath of his mouth he spoke it these were things and words that came out of his mouth and is letting us know how it is important also very important of yes, what comes is. out of our mouths you hear that family he said it and it was hallelujah yeah. i'm so grateful for that go ahead mommy this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night mm -hmm. that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success okay go ahead yafa for yahuwah spoke wait stop right there you see how that's bold your family say go ahead and say that one more good getting time mommy for yahuwah spoke all right and it was done done 
Go ahead. He commanded. Ooh. And it stood fast. Hallelujah, family. Is you hearing what he's saying right there? He said the word is saying here in Psalms for Yahuwah spoke and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. That means it wasn't nothing shaking it. It was going to come no matter what. Go ahead, mommy. Hallelujah. My son. Attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Mm -hmm. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are life unto those that find them. And health to all their flesh. Mm -hmm, family. Family, if you know, if we ponder... On all the things that come out of our mouths, we would probably want to pinch our lips like my grandma did when I would say some really stupid stuff and call myself going, you know, I'm going to do things my way. Hallelujah. But no, hallelujah. Just think, are we saying more positive things or negative? You know, I, I really don't want to say this. You know, I don't want to you know, just put it out in the atmosphere, but for the sake of the lesson, for the sake of you getting, getting across, because I know we've even heard it before, but I hear it so often. Why does it seem when a person speaks something not so good, I'm going to frame it the best way I can, that it seems to happen real quick. And when they speak something, when they speak real good things, you know, it seems to be delayed. Come on, family. Somebody didn't heard that and somebody didn't experience that. One of the things we realize is that the enemy, you know, he's always listening and trying to be all up in our business. You know, it's his job, to, you know, to always try to cast that seed of unbelief, you know, to try to throw you off. And if he knows that he can trip a person up with a certain thing, he is going to try to pull out all the stops that he most possibly can. Remember, he knows the word of the most high. He ain't ignorant. He ain't dumb. You know, we, we, we you know, we got to be aware, be cognizant of his devices. You know, don't be ignorant of it. Hallelujah. But we have to know and believe that thanks be to Yahuwah, hallelujah, which giveth us the victory through Yahushua HaMashiach, hallelujah, so we can be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Most High. For as much as we know, we know this, that means we got to know it and we got to speak. Speaking, and we got to say it day in and day out for our labor is not in vain in Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks be the most high. Just being steadfast, being unmovable, making sure that we just go ahead and doing what the most high told us to do, how he told us to do and to speak the right things in, in and by the spirit. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Yafa. Keep thy heart with all diligence. For out of it are the issues of life. Mm -hmm. All right. Put away from thee a froward mouth. Yep. And perverse lips put far from thee. Uh -huh. I like this next verse right here. A soft answer turns away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. The soft answer turn away wrath, you all. This reminds me of when people get into certain situations with law enforcement, be it that sometimes, you know, you get pulled over or, you know, stopped here or stopped there. I got a few stories with that myself that would trip you guys out. But, um, mm -hmm. you know, uh, people sometimes get upset and they want to start smart mouthing the cops who, and for the most part, they're only doing their job, you all. You know, so we have to just be obedient. What does the word say? Um, be obedient in a, the time of your adversary when he tries agree to agree with your adversary. Agree with your yeah, adversary yeah. in that moment. And not that all of them are, you know, out to do harm. Like I said, for the most part, they're all out to do the right thing. They're just doing their job for the safety of society. 
you know, keeping things in order. So it's best for us to keep our mouth shut and just do what they tell us to do and anything they ask, only answer straight and forward. You don't have to give any special outlandish explanation or anything. Just answer the questions and just give me your license and, you know, rightfully so in a sense. And I know some of you guys know law, the law, okay? You know, we all know a little bit you know, glory to you use it to the best of your knowledge and with wisdom, you know, but, um, you know, just do what you got to do to get home, you know, make it home safely for, you know, hallelujah. So just be obedient when you do come into those situations. Hallelujah. Where are we? Oh, uh, the tongue, 15 to two. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge aright. But the mouth of fools pours out foolishness. You know, a family, this is this is such a blessing. You know, if when you think about it, being wise and being used by the most high, when you use wisdom, gracious words will come out of your mouth. Watch out now. Mm, come on. Yeah. Now. It's, it's, it has no no reason but to come out. Hallelujah. If you using that wisdom and walking in the spirit. Go ahead. Yafa. Yahuwah hath given me the tongue of the learned that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. He wakes morning by morning. He wakes my ears to hear as the learned. Mm, is you hearing that family? Do we really want that family to be able to give a just now word to our brother, our sister? You know, will we allow the most high to work that in us? Come on, family. Will we speak and confess and profess that it's already all right, that it's already done? It's just a matter of manifestation according to the most high's will. Is we ready to do that? Yahuwah, give Give me the tongue of a learn. Hallelujah. So I can speak that word. Hallelujah. Go ahead, my me. This people draw nigh unto me with their mouths and honor me with their lips. But their heart is far from me. See, family, with a mouth, we can say the wrong things. Even when people are trying to, you know, they're trying to act smart. You know, uh, they say, you know, all the day love that they love the most high all day long. They love the most high. Knowing good and well, they just talking out the side of their neck. And they don't even want to live right and not speak. They they straight up not speaking from the heart. They just saying some things. You think about people when, when they get up to the podium and say, you know, first thing they say, they thank the most high. Well, come on now. Come on now. You thank the most high for some debauchery that you just done and mm -hmm. you just perform. Is you kidding me right now? You know, even a, a, a fool when he holds his peace is counted wise. Come on, family. And, 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 and he that shuts his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. You mean to tell me if you keep him closed, you, you, you perceived as being understood or, or you got some wisdom running through you and, and things like that. You know, we are the righteousness of the most high we know what's acceptable come on family you know we live in this and we walking in this and we breathe in this so we got to keep on doing it watching the things that come out of our mouths go ahead mommy a good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil for of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaks mm -hmm. family just kind of ponder on this all the parables that the messiah told his disciples he was speaking directly to them because it was given to them to know the mysteries of the kingdom that that's a blessing right there you know the words that he spoke to them it wasn't for everybody else to hear and to see and to understand it was something he wanted to show them and let them know what where when why or how go ahead yafa for in many things we offend all. Mm -hmm. If any man offend not in word, the same is a perfect man, and able also to bridle the whole body. Behold, we put bits 
in the horse's mouth. Mm -hmm. Look how little that thing is. Go ahead. That they may obey us. We turn about their whole body. Mm -hmm. Behold, also the ships, which though they be so great and are driven of fierce winds, Yet they are yet are they turned about with a very small helm, whithersoever the governor lists. Mm -hmm. You know what this is a we were in one time we were in a situation, you guys, where um we were out and about running around doing some errands and we had to uh stop and go to a mall that was in our area and this was around the time of 2001 about that September time in 2001 you guys kind of know what I'm talking about and um, my husband had went and he got some glasses at the mall well at the time our children were younger and so you know you have a f quite a few kids and I didn't feel like getting out the car you know so I just let we parked in front of the mall and I let my husband out and so he ran into the um, I got glass place to pick up his glasses and so, um, in the meantime, you know, there was a cop that, uh, pulled behind our vehicle. And so respectfully, you know, I had already intended in my heart to say, well, if a cop or a security comes behind me, I'm just going to pull off, which, you know, some of us do sometimes you run into the mall. And so I had kindly pulled off. I didn't speed. I just moved, you know, from the front in front of the entrance nice and slow because of traffic i respect speed limits and everything you know so um the cop he jumped in his car you know and he did not when he pulled behind me he did not have on lights he didn't even appear that he was going to come and question me it was just out of respect that i moved um the vehicle you know the car and everything and so next thing i know looking at my rear view mirror he jumped it jumped in his car and I pulled up one of the aisles into the parking, you know, area of the parking lot. And he pulled in, you know, came around really fast in the aisle next to the aisle that I was pulling up in. And um, he then put on his flashers um, to, like, pull us over, you know, in the middle, in the parking lot. And I just kindly, you know, pulled over into a parking spot with the kids and everything like that. And when it happened, you know, again, like I said, he then had on his flashers and there was another cop. So this particular cop, he got out of the, his cop car, you know, his police car. And, um, he came and approached my window. So I had rolled the window down, getting ready for him. You know, he was like, give me your driver's license and insurance. And this and that, he was talking really, really mean and angry at me. He said, you just ran from me. And I said, no, officer, sir, I, I apologize. No, I was not running. I just saw you back there and out of respect. And I told him like that, you know, I said, and out of respect, I just kind of moved, you know, from where I was parked, you know, and I was just pulling off. He said, no, you pulled off really fast and you tried to run and get, run and get away from me. And what had happened now, this particular area that we were in, it was, it would have been very rare for there to have been a black cop. I'll just put it like that. So the first cop, he was white. He was Caucasian. And um, so his partner, he was black. And so the brother, he got out of the car. The cop, the black cop, he got out of the car. And um, it was as if he came and he talked to the white cop like, calm down. You know, I saw her demeanor. I'm only, you know, insinuating what I think that he may have said to the white cop. He was like, you know, calm down. I saw her demeanor. She did not, you know rush off when she pulled off she was pulling off you know she kindly pulled off just to move that's what we do you know somebody in front of a mall you know i was just thinking of what he could have possibly said to the cop the most high spoke through that brother and till the cop came back he gave me my driver's license and other information and he was like okay i'm not gonna give you a ticket this time but next time just be careful and from then on i tell you i don't think i parked in front of a mall again for a while you know, like that, but that was quite a scary situation considering the time frame that we were in. That was crazy. But yeah. hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's a blessing. So glad, you know, and I'm coming out and trying to figure out what was going on. But 
Thanks be to the Most High who had a uh, a witness there. Hallelujah. Yes, he did. You know, from the other nation to a, a, from from a brother who came through and said, hey, wait a minute. You know, the Most High moved on our behalf and on my, my wife's behalf, and he didn't act up. So, hallelujah. And again, I think about what you were saying to Mommy, mm-hmm. you know, how you, you spoke to him. You know, yeah. you, you, you weren't boisterous or no. nothing like that. You just, you know, hey, you, you, you know we wanted to make a home. And I wanted you to make it home. So it's just like sometimes, you know, family, we can just, again, it's how we say some things and how it comes across. We don't have to be all, I'm going to prove myself and I'm going to prove this and prove that. What do you have to prove? Prove that you can make it home. Prove that you can go home. Hallelujah. Like the word says, a soft answer turns away wrath. All the live long day. And even though the cop came at me fiercely and he was ready for it, boy, I tell you, this cop had a look on his face. I tell you the enemy was in him and I was just like nope stay calm and I stay calm and I talked to him you know nice and soft and respectful and glory to Yah you know even though inside I was a little you know shaken up because I couldn't believe what was going on you know but glory to Yah hallelujah thank you father thank you father look look at this next verse family it says even so the tongue is a little member and boast great things. Behold how great a matter a little fire kindles. Mm-hmm. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. Mm. So is the tongue among our members mm-hmm. that it defiles the whole body and it sets on fire the course of nature. And it is set on fire of hell. Who is we here in that family mm-hmm. for every kind of beast and of birds and of serpents and of the things in the sea is tamed and hath been tamed of mankind. Yeah, we hear that family. You know, you can tame and you can train Fido and you can train <laughs> Flipper the Dolphin just about, you know, just about anything. You can teach them how to do it. You can even sometimes show a cat, you know, train them. No, no, I'm going to take that back. You can't show no cat nothing. And I don't mean to be mean to people who love their cats and have cats. I just know every cat that we had when we were younger, the cat never listened. They were all conceited and sedity. They just looked at you and kept on twisting, never did anything I asked them to do. So that's why I say you may not be able to tame a cat. Now, you may be able to get your cat in order, but I don't know. But go ahead and love your cats and take care of your cats. I ain't got nothing right. against you or your cats. But hallelujah, we just thank and praise, the, you know, the most high for that. You know, but we just we are so grateful, family. Go ahead. Yafa. Let's get back into this lesson and finish it on up and encourage the family. Tell them. But the tongue can do, can no man tame. Mm. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. Did you hear that, family? Let me read that one more good again time. But the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. You hear that, family? It's going to take the full indwelling of the Most High's Holy Spirit to change us completely. That's what it's going to take, family. That's what it's going to take. We need mm-hmm. his Holy Spirit. That's yes. what's going to change our tongue. Like That's it. All the live long day. Go ahead and, and finish us on out, mommy. There with Bless we Yahuwah, even the Father, and therewith curse we men, which are made after the similitude of Yahuwah. Out of the same mouth proceeds blessings and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. Hallelujah. Do we hear that family? You know what? This this lesson could have gone on for a long, long time because there's so much in speaking because you if you really, really ponder on it, we talk a whole lot. Some more than others. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> we talk a whole lot. Right. But our, our, our life 
you know, consist of that consists of speaking and it can and we speak the things that we know. We speak of our experiences and we th- mm. speak what's on our mind and some of the things we have on our mind ain't the right thing. And a lot of things we have on our mind are the right thing. So we just want to co- just inform your family. We want to encourage your family. We need to watch the things that we say. Be yes. careful of the things that we say. And this is just going to be hallelujah. If it be mm. your will, forgive us for the things that we say unknowingly. Yes. You know, we some things we we say and some things we know that's wrong. But let Mm -hmm. let us let us think about it again. As we used to tell the kids, think about it 10 times before it comes out of your mouth. And a lot of times if you got to think about it 10 times, it just ain't even worth saying. Come on with that family. Hallelujah. So we want to tell you that we love you and that we we care for you and we are praying for your Mm -hmm. family and trying to watch the things that come out of our mouths. We love you and we love you. Hallelujah. And if you are enjoying Yah's House of Prayer, please remember to like, subscribe, comment and share. We love you all, family. Hallelujah.